How strong is Kenpachi Zaraki? Hey guys, Sean here to give you Bleach Manga Chapter 525 review. In this chapter, we learned a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot. And here, we finally realize, or we finally learned what's happened between Kenpachi and Unahana in the past. Somewhat. In the past, we get a flashback. It's in Unahana's point of view. She's... Basically, she's telling herself is that she's getting tired that she can't find anyone to fight. She's losing interest in fighting because there's no one strong enough to give her a challenge. And eventually, she ends up running into Kenpachi. And what's funny is Kenpachi's a child. So, <laughs> it's just crazy. It shows Kenpachi. He comes out. He freaking... First thing he does, stabs Unahan in the chest. So we see how she gets the scar. And this is when they start fighting. Unahana, she has a complete change in heart now because of the fight she's having with Zaraki. She finally finds someone strong enough to give her a challenge. It's just that there's one problem. Zaraki is messing her up. She's thinking to herself, I can't believe I'm losing to this child. And I feel so worthless because Kenpachi is shackling up his power. So, we learned one thing here. Kenpachi was a complete monster when he was younger. He was really strong. He was stronger than Unahana. But, just like Unahana said, Kenpachi... He shackled his power inside. He closed it off. Why? Because he couldn't find anyone that could challenge him. He was getting he 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 annihilated everyone but Unahana. He's finally having a challenge fighting her. And that's great. It's just that he could kill her. And he's thinking to himself that if he kills her then he will never have he will never find a challenge again so instead of killing her he decides to oh no now he doesn't decide he subconsciously shackled his power and now we learned basically we learned why everything happened throughout the whole series with Kenpachi the fight with Ichigo he barely lost that match why the fight with Nectora, Nikitora, whatever he says his name. He barely won that battle. And you know, Unahana was thinking to herself that everyone thinks the reason why he lost or won is because the opponent was strong. No. The main reason is he shackled his power down. And I'm guessing that this is Unahana's sin. From the way it seems, because it's because of her that he dis he subconsciously did that. So I thought that was pretty cool right there. The thing is, is that we go back to the present. Unahana's messing him up. Well, we learned that every time that Kenpachi gets to near death and comes out of it, he gets part of that power back, meaning that it's unlocking. So every every time he goes to near death. Some of his power comes back. So during this whole fight, like from last chapter, he got stabbed through the neck. Well, that actually did happen. He Kenpachi was wondering what what's going on here, and he thought it was just some type of just some whatever. Well, we learned that Unahana, she's gonna do in, everything she can to bring his power back. So what she's doing is, she basically she said this. I'm going to kill you a hundred times and not a thousand times to bring you back to your normal self. And then after, I will heal you a hundred or a thousand times. So basically, throughout this whole match, Unahana is basically killing them and then healing them back to normal so he could get his power unlocked. And that's pretty crazy right there. So, that's pretty cool right there. And... It's just, I don't know. Freaking, at the end of the chapter, Zaraki, he's finally holding his own. 
he could finally see the attacks. He could finally block or dodge them now. And he could actually hit Unahana now. And in the final, on the final panel of the chapter, it shows him slashing down at Unahana. I don't know if he... Obviously, he slashed you, but I don't think this is the end of the fight. I hope not. I mean, if it is, okay, but I just hope that she doesn't die. Because, I mean, there got to be more to this. I can't, tell, I can't say what's going to happen next, though. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. I'd like to see more, though. I mean, Unahana, if that's her sin, because he shackled his power, I don't know. I think it's just a part of her sin. I don't know. There could be more to that. I mean, hopefully we'll learn more in the next chapter. But to tell you the truth, I really like this chapter. I mean, we learned a lot here. Zaraki's power level. We learned that he shackled it down. We learned that Unahana was... Unahana was a beast back then. She's still a beast now. It's just that Zaraki was way stronger. It was pretty crazy. I don't know. I'm looking forward to the next chapter. I hope you are too. Please subscribe. Like this. Like. Uh, comment down below. What are your thoughts? What do you think will happen next? You think... Did you... Did you like the... Un, um, did you like the... Revelation? That he shackled his own power? Let me know. Like always, this is Shonen, and I'll see you next time.